This video is brought to you by Alienware, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Start gaming. Hey, what's up guys? Jack here and welcome to another episode of CSGO Top Nades. This episode is sponsored by Alienware laptops. If you want to know more about those, the link is down in the description below. So we're going to start off today with a couple of easy ones. Today's first smoke is one for CT Spawn on Mirage. It's really simple, but very important to have it when you're pushing onto the A bomb site. Just line yourself up with the second brick and aim at the corner of the top building. Move ever so slightly to the right. Move forward a little bit when you throw the grenade and Bob's your uncle it can make life very difficult for the CTs to hold from CT spawn and it can also help cover a teammate when he starts planting. Be careful though in case those pesky CTs jump on top of the box to look over the smoke. Moving on to a smoke for the long corner on Dust 2, sometimes it can be hard to get out of long doors if the enemy team has a good long hold, especially if they've got an AWP there, and this smoke combined with some flashes over the wall can help get your teammates out along to gain some control. Jump on the boxes by the car and aim your crosshair at the cardboard flap on the top box. Throw and prosper, it's going to land right on the corner of long and that will help your teammates push out to gain control. Next we're looking at some smoke grenades for taking the B bomb site on Inferno. First off I'm going to show you one grenade that blocks off the entire of the coils area and anyone playing there on the coils themselves. Head over to the top pillar of banana of course after you've made sure that a CT hasn't pushed to the car. Get snug in the corner and aim up at the antenna on the roof. Line up directly with the middle of the antenna and aim your crosshair way up in the sky. Try to line it up with the dark line in the bricks to your right. Throw the grenade and it's going to land alongside the coils blocking off both the entrance and forcing anyone playing on top of them to move out of the smoke. The next place you're going to want to smoke when coming into the B bomb site is CT spawn and this one couldn't be easier. Just aim at the chimney sticking from the roof and throw. The grenade will land right in the entrance, easy peasy, you can do it while running as well so you're never going to have to slow down for that one. Lastly for the B bomb site, how about a cheeky molotov for the back of the bomb site on the new boxes. Get on top of the logs like I showed you in the boost spots episode. This time on your own, aim your crosshair at the third fence panel along after the pillar. Aim just above the cross section and throw. The molotov is going to head straight over to the new boxes at the back of the bomb site and force out any player who's playing there. Naughty. The last smoke for today is a bit harder, it's one that you'll see lots of variations of and a lot of pro teams use this smoke to block off banana from a rush. Let me show you the smoke first and then I can show you where it lands. So you do this straight from CT spawn at the beginning of the round, head to the rock on the back wall and line yourself up with it and turn so you're flat against the wall. Aim for the small chimney sticking from the middle roof, aim up quite high until you're in line with the cross that's on top of the bell tower. And what makes this a lot harder than other grenades is that you need to throw it on the run. If you run for roughly 3 seconds or so, count down in your head and let go of the grenade. Now if we head over you'll see it will clear the roofs and land right at the bottom of banana. And this is mostly useful if the CTs want to push down banana to get control. If the terrorist team is constantly rushing B, this is going to slow them down or either force them to stop. Very tricky to get, but with a bit of team coordination it can be very useful. And that's all for today folks, hope you enjoyed these little tips and tricks. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one.